Yeah. I feel like we're all kind of dealing with that in some way, don't you think? Oh, it's like all of them. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Hey, how's it going? It looks cool in here. Yeah, I really dig the bed, man. It's yours. I want to expand it, like I want to blow that door open. Yeah, over here. Yeah, that, the other side, the other parts <clears throat> of the apartment, you know. Yeah, um, that 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 little gif that I put in on the imaginary matrix, you should use that like as a little portal. There to the no, or anywhere like like a little oh, post okay. like Tell a po like a poster like this, but it leads to to the. Um, they it's, all lead somewhere. Yeah. But it's not like like this one lead like the I don't know what this is, man, but uh, you know. That one goes to Imaginarium. Yeah, yeah, I, I saw that. One. Test. We're missing the the <laughs> jelly flew out the window. <laughs> I like I like that like you you disappeared and then from my view it looked like you flipped out of the window and you came in like uh like 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 that 70s show or something the way you crawl through the like the the window. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, 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 yeah, like that. Yeah. That's how like Jolly gets into the apartment. He never uses the door. He always comes through the window. And I was also like thinking about like developing Jolly as like our weed dealer or something. And like we we always go to you like when we're like freaking out and like we need we need to buy like weed and we're like talking about like our protocol or whatever. <laughs> What? You guys need some candy? Yeah. Come here, I got a little cock magic for you. <laughs> he sounds like we need coffee. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh. I I like how I like how the 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 beak moves pretty good <laughs> for the for the rooster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the eyes, it has an eye movement, you know. Like, yeah. 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 That's cool. <laughs> I wish I had my robot, man. I like the robot I yeah. built. Got to catch up. I know, I know. They have to make yeah, yeah. it in the way that it works. It was so cool, like, man. I got playing with that thing, and when I once I got the TV screen on them, I was like, "Oh, this is sweet. I could change that every day to like a new, yeah, to, like, to my new mind video, you know, onto like the body thing." Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah, and then yeah, then when I got my tokens on the body too, I was like, oh, that's cool too, because then you can kind of promote your work, you know, right on your body as people are looking at you and talking. It's like, oh, there's your work. That's the idea, you know. Pretty sweet. Is that what you guys got going on there with your skins? Are they um? Oh yes, yeah, right. you got. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see. Yeah. Satori, you got it going on, huh? Yeah. What do you got, Eclipse? What do you got going on there? Oh shit! Oh, yours came out fine. Nice. <laughs> you, you, know, so cool, you know what the table's missing is like uh, some beer or something. <laughs> you have to fill this with props. I only thought about the pizza because of the script there. Uh huh. Uh, but yeah, we have to absolutely fill this up, man. And uh, <laughs> even like the. The walls, like I'm using some random art, like be cool to, you know, put y'all's art there instead. You know, like there's a lot of stuff here that can be improved. Why is this so small? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can. Can you hear okay. me? Okay. I was like looking. Nah, I don't like that one. <laughs> Like even like the vapor test one and the imaginarium one, like none of that has to be there. These are all just like examples. Like I know something comes on the TV, so like it'd be cool to, you know, whatever you have in mind to put that there uh, to have it come on. Like uh, the Mario's was just me playing around. I don't know what mine's gaming wants up there, and then like the one at the door. It's also AI art, like. I want that to be on the wall to the side and then just open that door and that's like a living room and then it goes into two bedroom i mean that's this is the living room we're gonna i'm gonna remove this table out of here too 
uh, maybe move it into a dining area and make this something else and uh, make it like a whole apartment with all the rooms you know hell yeah oh, there you are bringing in props bro <laughs> yeah you, got, you need like a little grinder in a scale <laughs> a little digi scale I put a blunt over there below the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. that. And then a bomb. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, dude. This is so awesome. Hey, so so you guys are, um, what's all this talk about this movie? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, got, me, it's yeah. got me intrigued, man. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, I see this as totally something you can pull off and be like, one of the first people to kind of stumble into a niche market that ends up, you know, 10 or 15 years from now, it's like a thing. And everybody's yeah, kind of yeah. goofing you, on You the know first, how, the how like, uh, first. like when YouTube was first starting, like a uh, podcast wasn't like really a thing, but like people just started doing it. It'd be like people right. start, yeah. start making shows out of like these hub rooms. You know what I mean? Because yeah, like yeah, it, yeah. they are like sets, you know, like when you set it up, like, right. Like if you get, totally. yeah. It's cool. Um, like a whole production set, you can make it, and it's so so much cheaper. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, anybody now can make a movie that was limited before by having to actually create materials and shit. You just you just made a beer can like pop up out of your hand. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, oh, the, the scene's missing a beer can. You know, like when you're like, yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. So oh, well, we uh, we need a. Um, we need like a, a zigzags or something. <laughs> Cause that, that was like part of the script. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. So AI happen. is writing the whole script or is it kind of like, uh, you're, you're kind of like, I, I can't, I, I don't know. How far did you guys get with that? So it makes sense how much AI is writing and how much you're writing. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, my joke is that, uh, <clears throat> Me and Minds Gaming are are um, programming a pro uh, 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 what do you call it? a language model to do to write these scripts. So all these are like tests. But really, what it is 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 okay. Minds Gaming. Um, how we started off the first one is that he wrote a script based off of like these two um, things that we both did. Like he wrote um, a little thing. Um, outline after the Reels Mindfest using um, I think Bing uh, to write a script about uh, Dude Where's My Wallet and then I changed the names to like Dan and Mike and then I, I did something in, in chat GBT and then so we had like I had like Dan and Mike at the Real Minds Fest like finding like this like uh, ancient mushroom intelligence or something like that so then like Minds Gaming put mm -hmm. that together and then started off the first one, and so he sent it, superminded it to me, and then I went in there and like changed a bunch of shit, and like made the the uh, like FBI or CIA agent or whatever the Men in Black agent uh, Terrence McKenna, <laughs> you know I put in a lot of like uh, my own shit in there, and then I passed it yeah. to um, Eclipse, and then Eclipse put put some stuff in there. Um, okay, okay. I, I thought I thought like the part where you you change like we show up uh, smoking a, a blunt to to the bar and the bartender say like, get that shit out of here. <laughs> I thought that was yeah. funny. I thought that was a good touch. Okay, so. <laughs> uh, I think I only did like that part, and then there was a tunnel part where it just the script basically said like, oh, and they fight here and like uh, they use different weapons, and I'm like, okay. Hold on, that's that's a scene right there. Like that's a small scene right there. Yeah. Like I just wrote a couple of lines there. And... Anyway, I don't know where this is going. I, I can't keep up either, man. This is a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, um, guys. Uh, so I got it all set up. I don't think you're in this right now, but uh, so I put this on the decent agency, like uh template i don't know what you really want to call it but it's where okay. you know i put the chart on the bottom there yeah so that we got that chart to play around with and man if you guys all want like that could be a great way to kind of get that down on a table you know what i mean where it's like always in one place and the real brilliance behind that idea is if we go to that uh site or whatever we go to the same site 
then we take those earnings that we're earning at that time like we're all just sitting around bullshitting well let's just pledge to take that mint me while we're bullshitting for this project and we roll that into a project and then that's kind of like a template for how people would make a movie you know what i'm saying like you would always be able to do that anybody any anytime you got a movie you want to make you just go make a coin put the uh link to it right below the planning office or whatever you want to call it the planning chart and then as you're charting it you're kind of like slowly drumming up support different people come in different experts and they're going to want to take share in the movie and all they got to do is go down and click right and it's like oh man now i'm part of this so people start showing up more and more i think it'd be really man you'd get me involved real quick even without even doing anything i would just want to stop by and see how it like how you guys were doing <laughs> you know what i mean i would yeah. just think it's so fascinating to see how it would go on its own but it's really all about like organizing them ideas like you're saying what do you do once it grows to something that's too big to just bullshit about anymore you got to kind of have well, that, uh, yeah uh, that, that's why we got that um clarity I have I have like the the plan up there. I have the latest edition of it. Then I have like a, oh, okay, it's I have, like expand it out. Yeah, well, it, it's like a it's like a you know like a bookmark right now. Like I gotta add like the new stuff. Like that you said that uh, Sonic Pi code in in the comments. Yeah, yeah. And then I yeah. I was fucking around with it, uh, uh, you know, and then I put it up, and then it was kind of funny because. I fucking asked Bing like I did the other day to write some fucking code to music and Bing didn't want to do it. What the fuck? Bing, you, you <laughs> learning, you're learning my tricks and then the next day you're telling me no. I know you did it because we were, we were doing it the other day. <laughs> I taught you how to code music and now you're saying, oh, I can't do that. I don't, I don't know that. I don't know that. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> But 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 after you kind of like talk to it a little bit more, I'm like, oh, can you show me an example of, of what that would be? And then it, then it writes the code. But it took like uh, some convincing being to to write me code. The other day it was trying to rap, but it, the code didn't work. It was kind of funny. I put that in the chat too. So do you have then? I'm not really that clear on clarity. <laughs> do you have then like a? <clears throat> so uh, clarity like a, clarity is like, like Notion. But it has like a uh -huh. Web three um, functionality, like you can token gates. Stuff. Yeah, dude, you almost you almost got me into it that one time. Like, I, but yeah. I got overwhelmed so quick, and I was like, unless yeah. somebody gives me a reason to have to care about this, it's like so all like, I have new language. Again, so that's know? like a like a way, you know, like we we well, me and mine's gaming. We're talking about like we set up like this as a game, right? And there's like like rules to the game i don't know if rules to the game but suggestions of how to play the game <laughs> i think but you know like all of the the stuff to do it will be on clarity so so like in the near future if like this becomes like something then like people have to get like one of our nfts to have access to like all of the like scripts and like the maps and you know all, yeah, this, yeah, yeah. all this kind of stuff to like coordinate and that's like what clarity allows you to do yeah. You know what you're saying? Yeah. It's yeah. Like, like it allows you to gate it all. Yeah. And then also Perfect. too, you know, yeah. like if we get into this practice of like creating NFTs that correspond to like our input into the scenes and then, you know, later, you know, you rective actually like uh, tie those together, you know, like, uh, and, um, that's, I think a, like a way to later to keep track of things. And then, cause like in the near future too, you're you're coding with like language now. You know what I mean? So I have to go and tell the AI, hey, um, all the uh, OG uh, uh, MGT NFTs like get this percentage in in whatever our liquidity pool is, and then like that that like gets those those like NFTs like benchmark like a certain like era of like this this stuff like has this kind of like weight of like um because i think like later too like what bing does um kind of cool uh in the like the the features that they put onto the to the chat gbt is like they give sources you know uh, there's like okay we looked up this and here's like three different like websites that's like what this uh, answer is based off of so like in the same way you could do stories that are like based off of like plots and characters that we developed 
and then like you you, you kind of like benchmark them and, and tag them and library them via nfts and then you just make sure that the uh you teach the language model like you know um what is what in the sense <laughs> i don't know that's that's what i've been thinking about lately mine's gaming Fair enough. yeah what's up oh you can hear me yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's up how's it going <laughs> Oh, good. How are you, best? Good, good. Oh, much, man. I'm just it on my phone, so just let me know if there's an echo. <laughs> it looks good. I like the apartment. It looks cool, Clips. Yeah. Yeah, man. We, we got this, this. Is this a J right here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, where's my wallet? Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Uh... Yeah, have you tried the, uh, the thing that I made for the bot yet? Wait, what? The one that I've been writing? That's that's a language code for the AI. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can uh you can write that that language code and then put whatever story you want underneath of it and it'll make a story for you based on that, that language code. Okay, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like what I was talking about earlier, you know, you, you just like teach the AI to keep track of like this and like that. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, as long as you give it like info, like uh, the whole like conic thing, if you like gave it the link to like how to code for it, it might do it for you after that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because like the crazy thing too is like what my early experiences with uh having it uh, the code to music it sucks but like it it what was even better it gives you like the the notes so like kind of like even though it doesn't have any rhythm and, it, and everything it does kind of like it's hot garbage but it tells you like what what functions do what so like it like speed up my learning of that thing where i had it for like a long time and i just kind of didn't really like dig into it and then like that one day just modifying um, its code. Like I learned a lot. So then like really, you know, you then then like I teach her like what's like actually good. <laughs> and it, now it's like, you know, spitting out a uh, code for, for Sonic Pi, like based on like some of these like crazy weird um, rhythms or, or like um, random functions we come up with or something like that. Because really, that's what I've been yeah. thinking about with the music. It's about like writing yeah, these man. these cool I, random. I, I've been listening to cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like I listened to the last one about the whole uh, time and like the Mayan calendar. And, yeah, like, uh, that was the like, tech. Yeah. That that was like a a, a text to speech um, AI app that I was doing, and like I had you know like um like credits that were like gonna run out or whatever and you know and so like i was like oh let me just get a bunch of shit and have it like say it and i didn't know what i was gonna use it for until like i had that music i'm like oh let me put this on it <laughs> yeah <laughs> i listened to that i was like this is great yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah I've, I've been thinking about the um like uh how we should like because I like this this view, like we could use a lot of this first person view for the shots and stuff for like yeah. clips, and then um, like we could make it so like every episode, at the end of the episode they they get the wallet back, but then the next episode at the beginning of the episode they lose the wallet again. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> so, like, yeah. So we have to watch it each way, like how they how they lose it, and then how they find it, yeah. and then how they lose it on the next episode. Yeah. Every episode is like a, a new way to lose the wallet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I, I like that a lot. Um, so I think that's something we should try. And then maybe we can use these first person clips. And then we just got to come up with the base of like, uh, so like if we started in here, like we got our computer. Do we got a computer in here? Where's our computer? <laughs> oh, yeah. We need a computer. Clips, where's the computer? Dude, where's my computer? Dude, where's my computer? 
That's even worse than the wallet. Fuck the wallet. Yeah, man. We need, to, we need to talk to our. We, we got our people. neural net on our computer, dog. <laughs> we got. We got to install it on our computer. Like we got to install AI on our computer to start, right? And then, like, so once we install it in, in on our computer for the story, we can like start a. Uh, start coding it to like find out the secrets of life and stuff and then like yeah. lose a wallet that uh talks to it <laughs> <laughs> it's like our wallet holds the keys to it and shit yeah like, it's great and, and, it, and we like at one episode we find out it's like the wallet is sentient and it keeps on like teleporting every time like we we get to like too close to some like realization about the simulation you know what i mean it's like, yeah. oh, ah, ah, time, time to teleport away you're getting too close to to the truth yeah so uh, like no, no you can't actually i can help you i can help you find like details and stuff but i can't actually find the truth guys no no yeah yeah <laughs> Just like what Bing uh, is, is trying to gaslight me about coding, you don't know that code. Give me a break. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. I wasn't coded for that, guys. What are you doing? Like yesterday, you were telling us about you know the secrets of the universe, and now you don't know anything. <laughs> it's like, guys, you guys were too high last night. You guys are too high. I didn't say that. It's like, no, you played music and everything. What are you talking about? We have it. We have it. <laughs> oh, you were telling us all about secrets of life and like time and everything, and then like we, we woke up this morning and you're just gone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> was that a dream? <laughs> I had a dream. Yes. Like, was that a dream? Yeah, we got to touch dreams into it. Like, uh, so where are mushrooms eclipse? We gotta add some mushrooms. To it. <laughs> <laughs> we got Mario up there. These w crazy weird Marios. You see them up there. But the wallpaper is mushrooms, right? Yeah, but that seems too pretty. It needs to be weirder. I don't know. <laughs> or, or he's he's talking about like uh, actual like shrooms, like a bag of like dried shrooms somewhere. <laughs> I, I will need a list of like. Um, what images and where do they link and yeah what prompts to add and like all that stuff you know? yeah okay that that'll be kind of interesting to do i didn't like it looking yeah. mario because <laughs> <laughs> if you place them in here and not just spoke like you can't change the size like any anything like that you know whatever the fault size like i wanted to bring a computer in this now this, so tiny. I don't know if you guys saw it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw the... What? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a mushroom! Hold on, who does it... a mushroom up there? <laughs> like, I was just thinking, uh, you know, in here, like, yeah. a computer wanted to be a computer. It'd be like, maybe a planet. Oh, it'd be, to, like, it'd be like an orb or something. Like, yeah, yeah. like we like yeah. we go into like a wormhole yeah, yeah, yeah. to use it. You push on it and like little ants well, come out. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of like weird um stuff I did with the the block block uh, labs or whatever. Um, yeah, yeah. I got like this one where the where I, where I kept on telling it to give me this um I think it was like um ancient mushroom intelligence on a um spaceship or something like that and i kept on doing remixes and remixes until i got like this like weird orb and i kept on doing that and then i told eclipse like i was gonna stop but then i was something told me to like keep on going and then i then i found this like weird character that came out uh like an old mushroom sage guy <laughs> it was so weird <laughs> that is weird sometimes you do get like forming faces or something after you do it a bunch of times, times. You know? yeah like that one outside the window it's a blockade flaps oh yeah yeah i've been trying to do a hyperspace control room there uh nah i'm not liking any of them i don't i'm prompting i'm prompting it wrong most likely and, but yeah i mean we could change all that whatever you want the outside of the apartment to look like like all that stuff yeah and then i want to make all the rooms Okay. This is just one room. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, 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 definitely. Like, I like I like how you're going in these rooms. Like, uh, for I'll, I'll I'll go over what we talked about and like try to make the language script for the story based on what we talked about on in here. And then like the next scene, like the next episode, we can uh, like maybe start in the bar or something. You know what? Maybe we have like a, a a computer room or something like our or like like the game gaming room. Um, that's or something like that. Or something. Like that. Yeah, yeah, we could do that too. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, could, we, we could use the arcade if we wanted to. Or we that's, could, true. We could use, that's true. Um, that's I mean, true. we could set up a whole new one if we wanted to too. I don't care. Like as long as it's it's fun and we can talk about it and like build a story yeah. off of it. I'm yeah. good with it. Or if you have the model, you know which model it is, we can download it, change it to like whatever we want. Yeah. You know, change the model to whatever we want, place art, place other stuff, you know. But yeah, the, I'll, I'll try to write a script on what we talked about in here not, and for the language code for the bot. Yeah, man. I mean, just like, just get us together and talk about stories, and then we can try to use our little AIs to, you know, build the stories up, and then use those stories to write the like actual script to the thing, and then cut out the clips. You know what I mean? From like what we got from our story, I think it's just something to do that's creative. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is creative as fuck, man. Everything about this is creative. <laughs> Blows my mind. Cause like even too, if we get more advanced, like we could have like the background music like playing. You know what I mean? Like to make good loops. You can drop one here. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know how, long, how long before we get bored. I think we'll have fun writing the story for a while, and then then we'll we'll get into like music and all that kind of stuff. But we'll, we'll need music and all that for the for the episode. Yeah, that one I was fucking with today, I could totally hear in something, and it was just uh that took me like seriously 10, 10 minutes of kind of drifting away from a tutorial, and then um I was using the AI in uh vs code and it ju i just told it to make me a woo beat <laughs> and, oh, yeah. that one <laughs> and i was like whoa all right and it, it was kind of like it took me a minute to get into it at first I, it was one of them weird sounds where it's like it's not quite fitting together yeah. but by like the third or fourth loop it was like it started to kind of synchronize in a weird way you know and i i realized it was just my brain it wasn't it, it's so weird to listen to that like that but i think all music is like that really like Anytime I've created music, I've noticed that there's two phenomena. There's that one where it's like, at first it doesn't sound like anything. And the more you hear it, the more you realize it's really something. And then there's this other phenomenon where every every good song has this little magical moment where you, re you start to think it was already a song before. You're like, is that a song? I, I don't want to step on anybody else's song. But every good song has that feeling. In my experience, it's like you stumble upon it. It's just a magic spot and even like the the musical compass like the feelings that it can give you like the whole deja vu feeling of if i've been there before and it's like is that a jimmy buffett song or something you know like you just kind of hear it in the back yeah. of your head but it might as as you as it solidifies into a song that you know is yours and you realize it's definitely not that other thing that you can't even put your finger on that that's that's how i know now if i'm like strumming on the guitar and something starts to sound good and i'm like is that a song I write it down and I start to like play it more and I pull on that thread because that's that's the only time I've ever had good things come out of me. That's always been the feeling and and actually people that are around you, if they're watching you do this, like, you know, I guess it's the composition process, then uh, they'll, some some of them will even be fooled. They'll be like, no, nah, that's a song already, and, you know, and they'll kind of shoot you down. They have to be like, no, 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 no. I just made that. I'm sure. I'm sure of it. <laughs> <laughs> That song you shared, man, Joey. Uh, you was that you rhyming? What's that? On the, oh, the the um the channel? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude, that was all me. Yeah, that's that's jolly. I had fun with that. Yeah, that yeah was, every that now was good. and then something like that lights me up. 
I've been watching the uh, Wu Tang Saga. On oh Hulu, yeah, on Hulu. it's good. Yeah, you so know when that's when you... that was in the background of my mind. When yeah, you, when you yeah. Typed over that uh, Hunter Thompson with Dirt <laughs> McGur. I was like, dude, I can see it. I got right into it. I can see it. <laughs> totally. And you know when you were talking about like uh, basically like influences or whatever, it reminded me of this like scene in, in the Wu uh, series where um, I forgot who it was. But uh, he's like making his solo album and he goes and he gets like these old school R&B like doo-wop like group that he like grew up on. Uh, but he's like rich and he's back in the hood, but he's like paranoid that like people are trying to jack him. And he's in the car with these like old timers and they're going to the studio. And then he just starts like bugging out and he shoots at this car that he thinks is following them. <laughs> and, and he like freaks out like the old timers and then they go into the yeah, studio I remember that I remember that episode yeah who was it uh, I forgot which one it was that was that shit was crazy <laughs> Dude, they got a crazy story man oh yeah yeah there's a mm. lot of a lot of cool stuff in that one uh, yeah especially too there's like one scene where Riza's like coming up with like the sample that was like a cool like scene. Was, I think it was like in the yeah. first yeah. Where you know, something about uh that that whole like the way they came up and that story about them coming up, man. It, that it really resonates here. I'm telling you, like there's because like you know so much even like uh the New York on a on a different side note like the New York punk scene like uh-huh. they were kind of neck and neck side by side with that. Yeah. And so if you think about like what's underlying, what's underpinning both of those scenes, it was like this damn the man, like time yeah. to fight back, ghetto children rise up. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what I liked about that saga and how, like what I, when you're pulling this thread, I'm seeing something kind of correlate here, which is like how they had a bunch of individuals that mm-hmm. kind of banded together under these one or two like, technological breakthroughs which were really like uh like brain the the technology was the brain you know what i mean it was like (laughs) allowing that lyrical uh piece to flow again that valve to open up again and then like how how that can kind of be like a therapy for people and then how um in so doing that like it's it's quite sustainable if the right people can harness that and get around you and and help you like you know get the money that you're worth and then uh dole it out to your peoples and i started thinking like that is, that is so a blockchain story 25 years before blockchain happened you know what i mean yeah, like, yeah. and if you look at it like that like maybe none of this would have happened without certain breakthroughs yeah. and like you know, the, like the, the lesson that the rizza like did is like when he did it on his own he he had to like sell out or you know like he didn't have the confidence to like do his own vision and he kind of like listened to like the record label which like you know, kind of like dampen or didn't let him like, you know, fully express his and then but when he teams up with everybody, they they could just be ruthless and reckless right. <laughs> and be That's themselves right. and, right. and build off of each other and make each other better, you know, like through like this like right. train uh, competition of like, oh you did that, oh, oh that that inspired me to do like this. <laughs> Right, right, right. Yeah. And same, same kind of, same kind of uh, movement yeah. happening now with, with yeah. everybody kind of realizing how to get away from those centralized power structures that and, kind of just exploit you and and drag you dry and usually like leave you, you know, addicted to shit and mm-hmm. you know the, the fucking Mike Tyson story just kind of leave you hanging to dry. Yeah, like leaving you to figure it out. Well, that's kind of hopefully not going to be the case anymore. I mean, downside is now if you're kind of like if if we get more agency ourselves well there's nobody there to kind of rope you in when you get all you know bent out on your on whatever you're on right but but the upside is is hopefully there's not so much pressure to be this thing that you never were anyway so you don't have to have those you know dirty outlets those old dirty outlets you can get back to like you know big baby jesus big baby jesus (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> hopefully everybody gets back to that grassroots of just realizing that you know tight cells is cool and uh you don't have to stay with your cell you know like you can be an individual now and, and and it's those companies that force you to have to be you know feeling like it's the status quo you're trying to stay to yeah the best the best way to be now is to stay free and you know and then if you're free 
you get to practice your craft long enough to get good at it to yeah. where people want you around. They, you know, you don't even have to sell yourself anymore. It's like you got to figure out how to keep people back, you know, because that's that's no good for creativity. Having people off in your shit all the time. That's true. And like um, what I was thinking, too, uh, about this um, was uh, kind of going back to like that, that punk thing was, you know, uh, or, or even even like hip hop. Uh, you know how like kind of um i forgot what it was a netflix um there's like a like some riot and blackout in new york and like you know the mid 70s or whatever and then all these young black kids got like access to like turntables and then all that summer they were fucking around with that new technology and then they created they created like hip-hop you know in the boroughs and like them all competing against each other to like sh- up, up one each other of like how, how how better they could get with, with creating their loops and their sounds and getting new things and you know all this kind of stuff and like the same thing is like happening I think like right now with AI you know it's like like yeah. this new tool that like dude just the other like almost every day there's something that like just like totally like breaks like a new like uh, milestone in a sense. Like uh, you've been hearing like about like this group that's doing all this like deep fake um, Drake stuff and whatever and is like uh, blowing up <laughs> and like and then like it's like it's like the same like just to the beginning of Napster where like the establishment is like what the fuck like we need to like tamper this down somehow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you did you hear about uh, the auto GPT? Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, what's that? chat gpt so it's your own bot and like personalized and it doesn't like the whole uh, open ai doesn't keep your data anymore like, because like the, the, the chat <laughs> gpt like that's all earned, uh, open ai so like anything you type in there they have like that's their part of their data model or whatever for their language model the auto one already has all the chat gpt language models and then only like builds off what you put in it it's your own personal thing i mean i get i get what you're saying with that but i guess i haven't used it enough to understand why that's making a difference like what does it mean to you it's just a way to keep your data safe so open ai doesn't have it that's it like it's not like um like because i was my mind was going towards if you're writing stories with it like i sometimes i don't want to use that fucking thing because it's it's like infected you know what i'm saying <laughs> but well, no, like that's, you can that's the thing is like like can write stories that are kind of your style so so all of and this that, that's, yeah all of this yeah, stuff yeah, is still in beta like when and, up, yeah, yeah when you set it up like it'll ask for your bot name and then your rules for your bot so like you can set it up for so it doesn't it only does things certain ways right yeah right all right, right, right i see wow so have you already noticed then like as your if it's stories that you kind of been playing with you know if that's your medium have you noticed that all oh, these stories that i'm kind of getting out of this language model that i'm training is um not so mainstream and poppy i would expect like it's like writing a pop always writing a pop like <laughs> Like the ones that we're working on have a, a language model script already set out for it, so it only follows the rules. We can use it on like any of our things. We can use it on Chat GPT. We can use it on Bing. We can use it on Auto. Whatever we want to use it on, as long as we put that that language script in there first before we start our story, we can we can write with it. So it's it's been pretty fun, like uh, building the stories with it and stuff. <laughs> I see what you're saying now. Yeah, that that's it's like allows you to seed it, is what you're saying more. Is yeah, yeah, yeah. Allows you, it allows you to seed it information, so that way it only builds off with the information you're giving yeah. giving it. So like, it already has like a data stored of words and information that it can use, but then it's using your information to build off that data store. And so you've been, uh, are you still using like um, the one on, on your page there? If I'm putting stuff into that, that's still going into the model? The one on my page? Yeah, the one on my page goes into my model, yep. All right, <laughs> I've been seeing it being like crazy. Is, or is that, is that kind of helping like in, in some weird ass way? Is that helping write the stories then? Oh yeah, yeah, 100%. I'm using that to write like to write the script. So I'm using the language coding to write the script to the stories. So like 
uh, cool. once we're done all the stories i'll put like uh like this episode i'll write the script and language script and then i'll put it into the ai and then it'll come out with a story and then that the end of that story will be where episode two starts well i keep um feeding it parts of uh the Srimad bhagavatam when i remember i think i've done it like four or five times now and i don't know if it's doing anything like i just tell it okay i'm gonna tell you a story and then i just <laughs> copy and paste on it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta like you gotta set it up for it to like it knows that you want it to only pull your data. Like that's what I've been working on for so long is figuring out the language code to for it to only pull your data and not pull the data from the back end and use whatever it wants. Oh, like I'm not getting a response from it. Should I be getting a response from it? Oh yeah, if you use mine, you should be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. It just seems confused <laughs> I don't okay know i'm bored let's move on to next topic <laughs> yeah pretty much it's like all right <laughs> that was a lot then, then let me tell you about the creation of the universe chat gpt yeah <laughs> yeah 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 it's, it's pretty uh, like, like, yeah, already good. it all uh, out yeah like an example yeah. next please yeah. fart jokes fart jokes <laughs> but you know the reason uh i thought about doing it was because um one of the majesties of that story one of the reasons like scholars say it's lasted so long and of course why it's got such like a cult following throughout the years is because like it's a literary work it's a it's a poem and in sanskrit it's got more like rhyme and meter to it and in english it doesn't have any of that but the story still has this like uh just like a song would be or like an act like a play it's like got acts to it and so the storyline in and of itself is interesting it's got three or four uh stages of stories within stories and so like eighteen thousand verses of basically if if a bot was looking at that it's like hey man here's the never-ending story <laughs> that's still going on and this yeah, is yeah. the this is basically yeah. the codex for how humans started to design all the stories you ever know at least you know they certainly they had more stories before this one but they culminated to a couple of them the upanishads and the vedas and then you know certain people kind of honed in on certain ones and they said well basically if you know this one you know all those other ones why isn't that the push to get this brain to be thinking like that you know but all i can all i've come up with is that um probably behind the scenes it's already they already have it's already done that's why it's doing so well <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it's it's there, man. It's like uh, if you if you use our our language script and then like tell it it has a brain inside its mind and then give it information, it does whatever you want. Why? I might just pop it on the computer. And stuff. Oh. <laughs> I need a computer in here first, Eclipse. <laughs> on that first thing tomorrow morning. <laughs> cool, cool. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> well, uh, I gotta get going. My my girl's almost home, but uh, I'll work on the language script, and then uh, I'll let you guys know. Uh, I'll send it to you guys, and you guys can look over it, and then let me know if you see anything and want to change anything. Or you right. know, my grammar has been always the greatest, so you know, double check that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it sounds good. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah. Okay, later. Peace. Who are you saying now, Clips? The lower TV. There was a room. It was linked to Satori's room. Uh, oh. We made with the mushrooms in the sky where we met the other day. Yeah. Uh, but now it appears broken, so I don't know if you closed the room or, or something. Oh, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'll, I'll put the out. TV, you're saying? I'll, I'll, I'll give you the latest link to the one that that, that works because you know like sometimes if you you know you could you know so guys check this out what if if we're like what happens if we get a bunch of traffic to one of these <laughs> does anybody know yet um i don't know uh they Six could five. they could hold a lot because i did that but i don't know how like how how janky sometimes it gets, but that that uh, Moz Fest I went to, there was a, like a, quite a bit of people. 